As a true Floridian, born and raised by the ocean, I have grown up with the sand beneath my feet and the sounds of the ocean waves as a constant backdrop to my life. So much so that I cannot even fall asleep as an adult without those waves playing on my sound machine. Anybody else team white noise? <laughs> But as I've watched the waves over the years, I've been able to witness the rising tides of change. Change is not just within the landscape of our shorelines, but within the very fabric of our marine ecosystems. During a recent walk on the beach with my children, on a beach that I grew up playing on myself, we were picking up some plastic that had washed ashore, and my son, who is Generation Alpha, which is an important thing to preface, um, turned to me and said, Mom, how big is the ocean even? Are we really making a difference by picking up these pieces of plastic? Does it really matter? Are we really helping? I, of course, explained to him how big the ocean is and probably way more words than he expected because of my passion for the ocean. <clears throat> and he responded, that's so Sigma. Now, who out there has no idea what that means? <laughs> I certainly didn't for quite some time. I've been schooled on the new lingo of Generation Alpha and those to come more times than I can count. But understand that in that moment, it was him expressing his immediate understanding for the ocean and the grandness and the strongness of those waves and how important it really was. So I'd like to ask you all, do we matter? Do you matter? Do your actions matter? You see, that small piece of plastic that we had picked up was a representation of our responsibility that day. Myself, my son, my daughter, everybody on that beach. It was a representation of our responsibility to take care of our part of the world. And it was a moment that truly crystallized the vastness of the challenge, yet the significance of every small action. So I told him, actually, yeah, our ocean is really sigma. You couldn't have described a better word for it. I mean, it's beautiful and it's strong and it's important. It's something that we're all a part of. And in everything that we do, every action we take, big or small, it matters. Our ocean is beautiful. You can take a walk down there if you can. I think the beauty is undeniable, but the vulnerability is as well. Pollution, climate change, overfishing, just a few of the many things that threaten the vibrant life beneath those waves. I'm sure you've heard it a time or two already, tonight especially, but coral reefs are the rainforest of the sea. They really are, and they're home to a million aquatic species. They provide so many benefits to us as humans as well, but they are dying at an alarming rate. And as someone who has witnessed the very decline of these vibrant ecosystems, I felt a deep drive to act, to find solutions that don't just patch the problem, but help us rebuild and reimagine our relationship with the ocean. The Global Coral Reef Monitoring Network has found that over 14% of coral species have disappeared. If coral reefs were to die, over 25% of marine life would lose their habitats. They would lose their homes. And if we collectively don't take bold action now, we could witness coral reefs vanishing from Earth in our lifetime. Our lifetime. I'm Katie Williams, ocean activist and part of the amazing team at Ocean Rescue Alliance International mom to two amazing, inspirational, what I like to call tiny humans, although my son is constantly reminding me that he is inching to towering over me any day now. <laughs> and as a child, I had wanted to be a marine biologist, even a mermaid. Thank you, Disney Channel original movies, for that inspo. <sighs> I think many little girls want to be part of something bigger, part of the ocean. What's more magical than swimming alongside beautiful, fish friends and exploring coral kingdoms. But as a woman and a mother, I navigated many barriers in life from societal expectations to professional obstacles. 
I was part of the corporate world where I had a window that looked out to the very ocean that I had so desperately wanted to explore and help restore. I knew that my passions and talents needed to be applied to something much greater. Combining passion with resilience can really forge new pathways. And joining Ocean Rescue, Rescue Alliance International has allowed me to find a different way to explore the ocean. This is where the fusion of art, science, and technology comes into play. We embrace innovative technologies to create underwater sculptures that double as artificial reefs. And our women-led team of ocean activists and um, scientists, we blend 3D technology not just to look at the ocean and study it, but to help restore it. How did we do this? We create these underwater sculptures, engineered habitats that are designed to support marine life and rebuild ecosystems. Whether these are inspired by myths like mermaids or underwater sea creatures like sea turtles, these sculptures and habitats are crafted with scientific precision and they now anchor new life. We have goals of outplanting millions of corals with our coral lock technology. They turn our ocean floors into dynamic galleries where we can catalyze art and where technology meets tide and where each installation tells a story of resurgence and hope. They're more than art though. They are functional tools for conservation and each one is designed to support biodiversity and engage our communities. Art has such a power to connect, to tell stories that resonate across all cultures and all generations, no matter the lingo. You see, when somebody sees a mermaid sculpture they can, that can support an entire ecosystem, they feel much more connected to that idea. They can understand the impact of their actions. They feel connected to a larger purpose. Through our projects, we invite communities to see conservation through a new lens. While I might not have become a marine biologist or a mermaid, <laughs> I have found my, my niche in the nexus of ecology, technology, and art. This work is a passion of mine, and it is a generational love. It's a fulfillment of a childhood dream that I don't think I ever could have imagined. Protecting the realms I once wished I could explore as a mermaid. Imagine the possibilities when we can apply creativity and technology to our global challenges. I invite you all to join in this movement and this thought, to think of the ocean not just as a vast part of our world, but as a living, breathing entity that we are all a part of. Whether by supporting conservation efforts like our organization, helping to educate others, or simply by picking up a piece of trash that you happen to walk by on your walk on the beach, your actions can literally ripple across this vast blue planet. Together, we all can inspire a group of future coral ocean guardians, no matter how big the feat is. And instead of just viewing the ocean as a frontier of exploration, they can also view it as a precious resource that demands our creativity and care. I'd like you all to imagine a future where art and science collaborate to heal and inspire. A future where every child who asks, are we really helping, can look out at that ocean or their part of the world and know that the clear answer is yes, we are. Believe in the power of your small actions. They can make a big difference. No matter how big or how small those actions are, we can create a point break together. So I challenge you all to make your own waves of action and apply your passion to those as well, because you can help the world that you are living in. Thank you.